Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to the episode of Conqueror's Blade. So today I wanted to cover um, about moving regions. I know a lot of you are probably going to know all about this anyway, so in which case this video is not really for you. But I've just heard a little bit about a few people thinking they had to uh, pay to move regions. So by that I mean moving from say I'm down here in uh, Liangyong, say moving to Maoyang or moving to Astaria on the other side of the map and aren't aware that it's possible to do it uh, effectively completely for free or just for using silver. So I just wanted to cover um, basically just how to do this and how to basically move your camp because it's not something that's really covered all that much perhaps in the tutorial and yeah I thought it was something that just needed to be touched on. So for example I am currently down here and this little flag here represents where my camp is down here in Zhao's Manor. So for example say if I joined a house in Maoyang and therefore I'd have to go and live with these guys over in, in, in Maoyang. So I say if they didn't own any land I might want to set my cap, camp in the AI capital of Anliang. So in which case I need to get here. Now how am I going to do that? So because you're moving to a different region you will have to cross at something called a border fort and between uh, Mara, Maoyang and Liang Yung there's currently three. There's this one here at Taku uh, there's one here at Maruke and Miran over here. And all of these are the sort of three ways or three pathways in which you can change region. So for me, the closest one is going to be over here at Taku. So let's head there now and we'll just look about moving across that border fort. So we have just arrived down now at Taku. You see I've over here, I've just travelled up from my camp. And because it's a border fort, it'll be completely impassable. I can't, can't pass through it on the other side. So you actually have to enter it. So it's really quite simple, you just obviously go up to it, enter it like a normal city and you'll just load into it as normal. But once you get in, you'll find there's actually two watchmen rather than kind of the usual one that you're used to in a city. And that's important, as you'll see when we actually load in. Come on computer, load me in. Be quick for the video. Don't want to edit this. <laughs> load. There we go. Okay. So hop on the horse and you'll see there's two, oops, wrong button. You'll see there's two watchmen. We've just loaded in here at the Liuang side and there's the Mao Yang side. So you've just got to run through, no way around that. Get on your horse, go as fast as you can and just travel the length of the city. And then you'll be able to talk to the watchmen on the other side. And when we get there and do that, you'll see that then we'll spawn in on the other side of the uh, border fort. And in effect, that is it. You've then changed region. Even though your camp is still in the other regions, all your units, all your supplies, you know, are still back down in Liang Yong. But we will have actually personally, um, as a character, moved region. So cross the border. Uh, no, I don't want to restock my food. Cross. Wait for that to load back in. And you'll see that we should have now spawned in on the other side of the border fort. Once we've done that, we can then, in effect, move to wherever we want to set our camp. We'll have a look at the map once we load it back in and kind of see which direction we need to go. Probably going to head towards An Liang and then kind of show you a little bit about setting our camps. Yep, so here we are. We're now on the other side. You can see that's where we, we came from, just on the other side of that fort. And again, I can't get back over there. I'd have to walk back through it in the same way. So, yeah, let's head over now. I guess to An Liang is probably our closest place we could easily set a camp. Or we could actually head to Nightingale because this is a neutral town. You see its uh, status is classed as a safe zone. So we could equally set our camp there. So let's go and have a look at there and I'll show you then how you set your camp and officially move. So we have arrived at Nightingale um, and I've just entered the city. So really, that's all there is to it. Now we just need to set our camp as you would in a, you know, a normal sense. So it's all you need to do. First thing is find the billeting officer who actually handily happens to be right in front of me. Um, and you would go to him and move camp. It'll give you the option to move your camp here. Um, so to do that, because you've crossed a regional boundary, it's going to cost you three migration tokens. Um, so migration tokens uh, cost 5,000 silver each. You can find them at the Apoca 3, which is, can we see the Apoca 3? Should we just find it on? Oh, not too far away. Go down here and you'll find the Apoca 3. Go to the shop, interact, obviously, you goods, and here they are, migration tokens. So if you move region, it will cost you three to then set a camp. So you just buy these three. You don't need to actually have a camp here set to buy them. You don't have to buy them in advance. So it costs you 15,000 silver. And then you'd be able to go back to the billeting officer and just basically click move camp. 
worth noting that there's a three day cooldown. I don't want to actually move my camp here, so I'm not going to bother. But it kind of just shows how easy it is to do. And that would be it. I would have then moved regions. I would no longer be in Maoyang. I would then be in Liangyong. And once I set my camp, all my units would come with me. Everything I've got in my personal storage, everything I've got, you know, in my supply dump, all that will come with me to Nightingale. So you don't have to pay for any cross-region migration tokens or anything like that. And you can just walk it and set it manually. You know, and you can do this wherever you go, whether you go into the borderlands over here, or whether you do the maximum possible distance and go from, you know, Liang Yong all the way over to Orgolia over here in Ostaria. It's exactly the same principle. All you have to do is cross more border forts. So, for example, you might go through Taku and then um, up here and maybe cross across uh, uh, Dachau, over into the borderlands, you know, and then Verschloss over here and into Orgolia. Exactly the same as we did with the border fort of Taku. You just have to enter anything that's got this little green dashed line between it or one of these little uh, these little flick arrows um, represents a border fort you can cross. So that's really all there is to it. You know, if you do that, it's just a much longer walk. You know, it might take you 40 minutes or something like that to do the walk. But perfectly possible, you do not need to spend any money to actually uh, do this other than the little bit of silver it costs for the migration tokens and that's kind of the point I wanted to make in this video you don't have to buy a cross-region migration token or anything like that you can do this for free um, yeah it just takes a little bit of time to do the actual walking so yeah that's all I've got for you today that's all I wanted to cover I'm now going to go walk all the way back home again <laughs> but um, hopefully it was worth it for the video and hopefully this will help a few people out in terms of moving region because I know particularly if you join a house or something and it's in a completely different region to you it can be pretty confusing about how to get there at times but thanks for watching guys do subscribe to the channel for a load more Conquest Blade content and I shall see you guys all on the next video